here in Milan. The Fletcher Building Laminates and Panels Design Group has converged from all of our international sites to observe trends and tendencies to see what the Italians are thinking about for the future. This is the Ro Fiera background where the 55th edition of the Salone del Mobile takes place. And one part of that is Euro Cucina, which is the kitchen element. The organizers of Euro Cucina have called out two specific themes this year. And one is how the kitchen space merges with the living space and how technology is becoming a very integral part of kitchens and how that influences how we use the kitchen space. And we're not alone. There's over 300,000 people that have convened on this one single site. So there's a very big crush of design zealots looking for what is the future of kitchen and furniture. So a continuing trend that we see in the kitchen is constant blending between regular life activities and the kitchen activities. So cooking, yes, but also a place where you gather with your family and friends, a um, place to entertain people, which for, for example, we see very flexible furniture that it's adjustable in the height, so your, your breakfast table becomes a bar in the evening. Exactly. And we see a lot more open shelving. So instead of hiding away all of your cooking elements, they're opening up into shelves and you're allowed to show off your beautiful artwork and your beautiful family heirlooms. Or books, right? Or books, exactly. So your, your shelves may, may have several elements uses. that yeah, it's wonderful. And then the next bit that we see that's continuing that trend further is the fact that your work life is coming into the home. No exactly. longer do you go to the office. Your, your office is actually in your home and you start to invite co-workers into your home. So we're starting to see the office furniture aesthetic merge into the kitchen furniture. An integration of work furniture in, into kitchen. Exactly. Yeah. So with the merging of the home and other activities in this hub, we see the material aesthetic changing. Not so much new materials, but how materials are used. We see zones. In the, in the past, your workspace, your island, was one material. piece of material. It yeah. was one slab of stone. Right. Today, we see zones for putting prepping. a hot pot and, and prepping and cutting. But now, we also see areas that are suitable for work, right? Mm -hmm. So, like areas with charging materials. zones. Charging zones. Which is, which is coming in play. Or if it's a dining area that's sort of added on to a large slab of stone, it's actually a piece of wood that's elevated a little bit. So not only materials, but heights are changing to delineate the, the various functions that are coming together in the center. There's a section at Eurocachina called FTK, which celebrates new technology and the integration of functions through the appliance manufacturers into the kitchen. And with that, we see more combinations of functions. Everybody is vying for more and more space in the kitchen. Drawers are now dishwashers. There's very different uh, separate cooking elements um, that you can add on if you need a bigger cooking space. Cooking hobs and the um, induction cooking is being integrated into the island, but it's being done freely. And it's invisible some, yeah, sometimes. It's invisible. So it's also about hiding the technology. There's a lot of it, but you're hiding it. Exactly. Right? Charging zones that are just hidden in, in your worktop space. So you just drop yes. your phone there and it charges. Other ways that we see technology coming into the kitchen is the whole concept of the smart home and the aspect of being able to control all the functions, whether you're in the home or out of the home, with apps off of your cell phones. So it's kind of crazy. The world is very interconnected now, even your home. So we are in Italy. We're definitely going to talk about style, right? And, style. and the style changes that we see. So what's, what's new? If we think about wood grains, for example, I see dark and light. So there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of thermo-treated um, oaks and ashes still, which are really dark, it's like a dark red or a, or a really dark brown. But also that Scandinavian quite light element, and that's mainly ash, ashes and, and limed ashes. Um, a little so bit of knotty oak, a little bit of knotty There's oak. a little bit of knotty oak still. Mm -hmm. 
talking about color, aside from the major, you know, beige, white, brown, beige, brown. we do see a theme and that is forest. So, um, and that includes very rich wood tones and then a lot of green. green. And that's forest green? Ranging from the forest, yeah, the forest pine green to moss green, warmer green tones. Also mint, pistachio. Enamel green. Machine green. The machine green. Yes, the enamel exactly. green. Yeah, so green is the color theme. And what's really interesting is a lot of the exhibitors are integrating actual plants into their display. A so the green, green, there's a lot, we see a lot of yeah. trees in, in a lot of plants. There's walls of, of it's like green. greenhouse. It is a greenhouse, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So when I look at the kitchens that we're seeing, there's a lot of metals in use and they have different functions. For instance, stainless is used for work, for work tops, for, work for, tops the for the countertops. And they're very interesting because it's a very functional feature that actually incorporates the cooking and the cleaning elements actually into a single trough, which is kind of cool. And the majority of that comes in, in the typical stainless color, but there's also gold and brass tones. There's less copper than we saw before. And then there's metallic looking finishes. Exactly, exactly. Which is not real metal, but some type of you know paint. And brass is back. So for those of you that have lived through it, it was all over the fair this year. So in terms of worktops, we see classical stones, the classic dark marbles with white veins. We also see porcelain representatives of the classic stones. Exactly. The Calicutta is all over now and porcelain tiles, large format tiles, as well as other stone looks. So it's it's the printed version of a of a classic. Yeah. And it's thin. Yeah. That's what's interesting about the worktops, they're becoming thin. With the porcelain tile, I I think that, that was the driver. There's that ultra thin mm -hmm. top, right? And even if the material is not that thin, they make it look, look like thin. it's thin. So they, they cut it in a way that you see only that thin edge. Right. And it looks super elegant. It does. It's so Italian, isn't it? Thin is in. In terms of cabinetry, we're seeing an interesting trend where there's actually a thin metal frame of which then there are panels that become the doors. So it's sort of a deconstructed cabinet instead of a big box that's just put in the wall or on the ground. The majority of these frames is black, so it reminds me of Bauhaus times, Mondrian, that era in the, in the 20s. It's a, it's a very classic style. But modern. But modern, again and still. Yes, exactly. Yeah. The style and design that we see here at Salone del Mobile, Eurocucina, also in the many showrooms and installations downtown, has a huge influence on the world of design. So what happens here will end up in your markets around the world.